hello there and god bless everyone watching this video right now greetings of grace and peace to you i had to make this video in response to the burden and the sympathy that i feel in my heart towards my fellow nigerians my fellow citizens and um, in particular christian brethren who are the center of what we are going to talk about shortly now it is no news or it is not a new uh, thing about the flooding disaster that happened in the city of Beiduguri on the 10th of september in uh, the year 2024 this happened around midnight um, as we have seen on the news for many of us Meduguri is a city is the capital city in Bruno state which is in the northeastern region of Nigeria um, the flood occurred and has ravaged the city as I speak to you now a good portion of the city is underwater even though the flood water seems to be receding but it's more like affecting other parts of the city um, so much damage has been done by this disaster uh, I won't call it a natural disaster because this flood was attributed to the collapse of the walls of a dam very close to the city as you must have watched or heard in my previous videos this dam collapsed something that had not happened in 30 years the last time it happened was 30 years ago and it was devastating and it has repeated itself again um, i'm going to give you a few statistics um, because the data seems to be conflicting but something close to what is on ground right now i've been told that over 1 million people are affected 1 to 2 million people are affected um, over 414,000 people have been displaced this is based on the number of people reported to be in the idp camps um, there are still people sleeping under bridges sleeping on the roads in fueling stations if we put their number together it may roughly be close to a million people um, about 14 health centers have been grounded including the prestigious university of meduguri teaching hospital which seems to be amongst the largest um, tertiary health facilities in nigeria and by extension west africa many of their machines destroyed including a cancer center that was not too long ago opened um, about four bridges and connecting roads have collapsed and this is a major setback economically for the state because these are very key roads or bridges connecting one part of the city to the other many lives have been lost between 30 to 100 so far but the reason why we don't have an accurate statistics is because uh, of the mortality rate is because uh, the health centers are not even taking they are not equipped to even taking uh, reported cases of dead people so it may be more or less this is a very devastating blow to the city of Meiduguri this is a city that has been ravaged by so many problems in the last 15 to 20 years from religious crisis where christians have been killed houses burnt down churches destroyed to the boko haram insurgency that has lasted for much much more than a decade now it has left the people in poverty in hunger and impoverishment whilst they are experiencing the general economic bite that the entire nation of nigeria is facing currently and in addition to all of this a devastating flood 
that have left many people homeless, many people hungry. Just yesterday, I was told that there were people who had to stand on their roof because their entire houses were submerged, some for 48 hours or more without food or water. These are poor people without any sustainable means of livelihood. For a state and a region that has been hit this way and has been going through a lot of trauma and trials, this video is a message to the church, the body of Christ in Nigeria, and an urgent and passionate plea to every Nigerian that is sympathetic and has the empathy for human suffering. If there is a time I will beg you to share this video, it will be now. This is not a content creating stunt. This is a burden in my heart that I, I can't sleep with without using the little platform God has given to me to let everybody know that there needs to be a call to arms. I've lived in the city of Meduguri for over 10 years now. I've been privileged to be around through the insurgency. And I tell you the truth, this city has suffered too much. The people are traumatized. Life around this place is only by the grace of God. And I fear that if every other region in the country only fold their arms simply because they have not been hit by this, I fear that something worse than Boko Haram may arise. Anarchy may be loosed on society. I don't know if the government is doing anything. I respect the effort of the government thus far. But I think it's high time that we take our eyes off government assistance alone and then getting down to creating institutions by ourselves that can meet the need of the average man. Specifically, I'm directing my plea and my urgent and passionate uh, uh, message to the body of Christ in Nigeria as a Christian. I want to plead with every Christian out there who is not in the Northeast or who is outside the state of Brno. This is the time where you really need to show love to your brethren around this path and come to their aid. This is the time when they need you the most. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 3, in verse 18, that we should not love in word and in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Jesus said, whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, that you did to me. This is the time for us to lay aside our differences and come together and see how we can help eradicate the sufferings of the people of the Northeast. I'm on ground. I've seen everything that has happened. I've been here for several years. It's something you can't sleep with. So this is a time where we need to lay aside our differences. This is not the time for us to be having debates on social media with all due respect. This is not the time for us to fight and be against one another. This is a time for us to wake up. This is a time for the church to wake up as an institution in Nigeria. I believe that every need in society is an opportunity for the church to prove its relevance to her generation, to her world. I fear that if we keep throwing the towel or we keep throwing a blind eye, a time will come when you mention the word church to an average citizen on the street. They may probably hiss or even be hysterical towards you. I'm pleading with the church in the south, with the church in the west, in the south-south, in the north-central. Don't wait till it gets to you. This is a time to show love and care. Even if it's just a call away to people who are connected to you from here or relatives, or if you can do well to travel down just to come and mourn with these people. I'm sure you are going to see videos uh, and photos as this, as this broadcast is going on 
you need to be at the idp camps you need to be on the street in meduguri right now people's livelihood wrecked the central market in the city collapsed earlier this year we had a fire outbreak goods what billions of naira destroyed many people are still trying to recover from that and this again it's alarming i don't know if this state will recover from this in the next one or two or three years because the economy has been crippled we urge the government to do what they need to do to ameliorate the sufferings of nigeria but aside from the government nigerians must arise for nigerians particularly the church as a young boy as a young child in the body of christ i am pleading first with our fathers and then with those of the younger generation my generation let's do everything we can to help if your church or your ministry can send help why not no matter how little it is showing the love of jesus to a depleting and and a ravaged society calm down yourself many people are afraid of coming to meduguri but i've been in this city for 10 years it has peaceful perhaps more peaceful than many other urban cities in nigeria and i tell you the truth calm down show love to these people visit them in the camps even if you come with nothing just show them that you care not only to believers but even to unbelievers and i plead with every one of us to share this message let it go viral i'm pleading with all bloggers thank you for always sharing some of the videos that we have posted on this channel but now not just for content creating as a show of human empathy share this video with as many as you can put it on your platform people need to be aware the world need to be aware of the chaos that is on ground i'm weeping inside of me perhaps there are no more tears to shed again please let's act and let's act quickly and fast don't turn a blind eye one day we will stand before jesus and give account of every resource every opportunity and every position that he advantaged us to have and i don't want to stand before jesus and be found wanting god bless you god bless nigeria god bless the great and precious people of borno state the people of borno state are a wonderful people they have held on to their faith christians and muslims in the midst of the trying times please stand with them send help partner with organizations ngos local and foreign or christian organizations if you want to if you want to partner with us we have a humanitarian organization in our ministry that is already doing the little that we can i didn't want to mention that so it does look like i'm asking for support no god has helped us on our own we've been thriving all these years but this is a time where help needs to come not just from above but perhaps from above through men and god bless you for every little thing you will do i want to specially thank the social media influencer called very dark man he has been in meduguri just 24 hours after the incident you must have seen videos that he has posted online as a nigerian sir i want to thank you for everything you are doing for the masses for the poor i believe that many christians should emulate him and should copy from him this is not about how a person looks it's about having human empathy directing funds care and relief so i want to thank the very dark man for what he has been doing on his platform creating awareness and showing the world what they need to do i also want to thank every christian organization out there who are secretly or publicly doing one thing or the other in the northeast whether as a ministry or as a church whatever denomination i thank you and may god bless you and reward you and we are calling for more hands to be on deck your little church where you are in your corner even if it's a bag of rice you can buy and send to the northeast it will feed many families that are hungry some of them starved for days without food and water and some of them are christians 
what kind of Jesus are we going to introduce them to? If all we do is just fold our arms and allow people to suffer regionally, those days are over. It's time for us to break the things that divide us and to come together as one, to love in deed and in truth. Thank you so much and God bless you. God bless Borno State. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And God bless the body of Christ. This is Jonathan Lagang and I approve this message. Thank you.